Yes, yes, people, are welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. And what I thought I'd do, since we're on the eve of Sven Botman coming to Newcastle, medical next week, we'll have a closer look at just who is Sven Botman. Born in Bad Hooverdorp, Netherlands. No, sorry, Sven, that was probably definitely pronounced wrong. Um, Bad Hooverdorp, next, next to Amsterdam, apparently. Uh, and if it is right, then Dutch pancakes on you, Sven. Botman joined the Ajax Academy, the very famous Ajax Academy, at the age of just nine before progressing through the ranks. So you already know he's going to be a baller coming through the Ajax Academy. Everyone that goes there is a talent. You know what I mean? They teach him how to play football properly from early. Although Sven Botman never actually made a competitive first-team appearance for his boyhood club and spent the 1920 season on loan at fellow Dutch side Heronveen. The 20-year-old played every single game, every single minute of their 26 Eredivisie games before completing an 8 million move to Lille in the summer, replacing Arsenal-bound Gabriel. Now, Botman is among the highest-rated Dutch prospects that has represented his country at every youth level, from under-15s to under-21s. And it's not just Dutch prospect. Newcastle United are signing one of the hottest prospects in European football, not just Dutch overall. This this bloke is very highly sought after, very highly rated. He's been looked at by Liverpool, by Man City, by, obviously, AC Milan, and you know of Maldini. The manager of AC Milan, one of the best centre-backs of all time, thought he was good enough to go to the Italian Giants. He's definitely good enough to be doing bits in the Premier League. Now, he has been called up to the Dutch national side through Frank de Boer back in November of 2020 for some Nation League games. But he remained on the bench. He still hasn't got that first-team football, but it is a matter of time. People in the Netherlands are citing Botman as the next Van Dijk. Now, Botman himself has actually compared himself to Virgil van Dijk alongside an interview with The Athletic who said he had a similar build and style of play as van Dijk and he admitted to it. He said, yeah, that's me, the next van Dijk. No, he didn't exactly say that, but he, he did acknowledge the fact that he has seen those comparisons made between Virgil van Dijk and himself. So if he's if he can kick on like van Dijk has done, then we're in for a right treat. Where does Botman play then? Well, we know he is a centre-back and I'll tell you he is a left-footed centre-back. He's impressed alongside former Southampton defender Josie Fonte in the last couple of years at Lille, helping them to keep many a clean sheets and obviously winning League Earn um, a couple of years ago as well. He's completed the third most passes in League Earn with a completion rate of 86%. So it shows he's clever with his feet, he's good at distribution of the ball. You'll see him sometimes make a long diagonal switch with his left foot to a good success rate. Um, he's clearly very comfortable with the ball at his feet and he loves to drive out from the back. Standing at almost two metres tall, Botman bears some of the imposable physical traits of Van Dijk and is incredibly strong in the air. So again, more links to Van Dijk there. 73.4% success rate of beating his attacker in the air. Now he said he loves coming up against a strong, physical, tall attacker. He says he likes to get stuck in there. But he also enjoys the challenges of coming up against a small, talented, you know, flary type player. He likes to test himself against those as well, the creative player, instead of just the big unit of a centre forward. So he likes different challenges and he feels more than comfortable in dealing with them. Now this is a huge compliment from Josie Fonte, his centre-back partner at Lille. Fonte has played with the likes of Virgil van Dijk, Toby Alderweireld, Pepe in the Portuguese national team, and Gabriel, who I mentioned went to Arsenal. Who was the best out of all of them? Fonte said Sven Botman. Sven Botman is the best out of all of them. Fonte describes Botman as a machine. Terminator sentence. He says he's a man who doesn't make mistakes. Lovely. We'll have less. Because I remember Titus Bramble, Titus Shambles, Boom Song. All these defenders we've had love a mistake. So if Botman hasn't got one of them in him, that'll do me lovely. He says that he's very open to learning and taking in instruction and improving his game. Botman is only 22 as it stands, so he is still very young. I mean, we've got to take this into account as well. He isn't the finished article. We're all getting excited, rightfully so. We're saying that quality talent, but we can't, you know, get on his back if he does make a mistake because he is still very young, you know, 22, to be coming into the Premier League. We can't expect too much too soon. He's still got to be nurtured. He's still got to get used to the English game. Eddie Howe, I'm sure, will do a brilliant job coaching him. So give him time and he will definitely come good and hopefully be one of the best around. Hopefully reach those expected levels of the likes of Virgil van Dijk. His coach Christoph Galtier said that he's been a leader. He's surprised at his leadership skills for such a young age. He says he can definitely imagine him becoming a future captain of the Dutch national side. And he says he leads by example through performances and it's true that Sven is emerging as a top, top leader. 
he's vocal and not scared to shake up the team. So that's a big impact. He will be a big personality in the Toon dressing room. Really looking forward to hearing what Sven Botman's got to say when he joins Newcastle next week. What he said back in 2020 was the Premier League is a dream. As a youth player, I actually really only have one dream to succeed in the arena. Because of my temporary issue departure to Heron Veen, I seem to get further away from that. So Ajax messed it up, fucked himself over there by getting rid of him. He's got no interest in that anymore. Focus on the Premier League, focus on the big time. Since we were linked with Sven Botman back in January, he started watching a couple of Lille's games, most notably the ones against Chelsea in the Champions League where they narrowly got that defeat. Seeing him play both of those games again at Stamford Bridge, he was brilliant. Really, really good, really impressive. You know, he kept things simple. In that game, yes, he was comfortable with driving out with the ball, but he constantly won his duels, won his headers, won his interceptions. He loves the sliding challenges you've probably seen already throughout this video in some clips. He was just strong and kept things simple, kept things smart. And to come up against Chelsea, who maybe weren't doing the best in the Premier League, still did very well in the Champions League in that year. And, you know, he showed that he was more than comfortable to be playing against one of the top English sides. So he's played European football at the highest level. He's won domestic trophies in France. Let's look at the sign of things to come for his time at Newcastle. Really looking forward to welcoming Sven Botman to Newcastle. And hopefully the medical is done next week. Completes his move, signs on the dotting line and becomes Newcastle's new centre-back. And the next Virgil van Dijk, our next Vincent company, I've said it all before, buzzing. What a saying this is by Newcastle United. Big, big statement saying. Let me know any other things on Botman that I've missed out that you think is important. Get in there your thoughts of saying in Sven Botman. How is he going to do at Newcastle United? Smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel TV. And enjoy yourself.